Now we are going to solve the problem number 4.15 which is given in page number 222 in chapter uh, electromagnetic induction and alternating current. Very interesting problem uh, may be asked in 3 mark also. First you have to understand the description of the problem. You have to take a rectangular coil and whose area is given 70 centimeter square. And 70 centimeter square must be converted into SI unit. 70 into 10 to the power of minus 4 meter square. Here, the axis of the rotation and the magnetic field both are perpendicular to each other. And the strength of the magnetic field is given as 0 0.4 Weber meter power of minus 2. And then, the number of revolutions per minute is given. The coil, it is made to rotate at the rate of 500 revolutions per minute that must be converted into revolutions per second. So, how to convert 500 divided by 60? After that, you will get small f that is frequency can be calculated. Therefrom, you have to calculate the angular frequency. Angular frequency formula is 2 pi f. 2 into pi into f value is 500 divided by 60. That is separately calculated. Omega value angular frequency is 52.33 radian per second square is the value. So, directly you can substitute the value of omega in the formula. In this problem, three cases are given. You are asked to find out the instantaneous EMF in three different cases. In the first case, I will read, you are asked to calculate the instantaneous EMF when the plane of the coil is perpendicular to the field, when the plane of the coil is perpendicular to the field. How to write the formula? Here, the required formula is xi is the induced EMF. That can be written as xi m maximum peak value sin omega t can be written. Here, omega t is nothing but angle. Theta is nothing but omega t. Here, that omega t theta angle that lies between A vector and B vector. In the first case, how the coil is? The plane of the coil is perpendicular to the magnetic field. Therefore, area vector and B vector both are parallel. Therefore, the angle between A vector and B vector is 0 degree. So, straight away we can substitute xi is equal to xi m can be written as n b a omega. Are you clear? While deriving the equation in the theory part, you may have already learned that maximum peak value of the EMF induced in the coil, xi m is nothing but n b a omega, sin omega t can be written and the instantaneous EMF xi is equal to n b a omega sin instead of omega t we can write 0, sin 0 0 therefore xi is equal to n b a omega sin 0 0 therefore on the whole the instantaneous EMF in this position would be 0 volt. So, this is the first answer for the first case. Are you clear? Now, we are going to see the second case in which the plane of the coil is parallel to the magnetic field. Look at the plane of the coil that is parallel to the magnetic field. When the plane of the coil is parallel to the magnetic field, the area vector of the coil will be perpendicular to B. Therefore, the angle between A vector and B vector is 90 degree that is theta is equal to omega t which is equal to 90 degree. Now, we have to calculate the induced EMF which is induced within the coil in this position. So, what is the formula? The formula is induced EMF xi is equal to xi m sin omega t is a formula, fundamental formula. Xi is equal to instead of xi m maximum peak value, we can write n b a omega sin omega t can be written. Xi induced EMF is equal to number of turns, n is equal to 600 turns into magnetic field strength is 0.4 into area of the coil is 70 into 10 to the power of minus 4 meter square into omega. Omega is already calculated 52.33 into sin omega t. Instead of sin omega t, we can write sin 90. Sin 90 value is 1. 
therefore z is equal to if you multiply all those things except this factor if you multiply these factors what you will get 87 91 4 4 into 10 to the power of minus 4 into 1 sin 91 if the entire factor is divided by 10,000 the EMF value would be 87.9144 volt this one could be shortly written as 88 volt as given in the textbook so this much amount of induced EMF which is induced in the coil when the plane of the coil is parallel to the magnetic field okay so we have seen the second case B case B next we are going to pass on to the next case called C case okay now we are going to find out the value of induced EMF in the third case look at the description which is given the plane of the coil is inclined at an angle of 60 degree with respect to the magnetic field the entire thing is drawn in the form of a diagram let us we have to imagine that this is the plane of the coil this is the direction of B the angle between the plane of the coil and B is 60 degree so this is the perpendicular drawn to the plane that is nothing but A vector this is the B vector the angle between the A vector and B vector is nothing but theta or omega t how to calculate the remaining angle that theta the total angle is 90 90 minus 60 is equal to 30 degree now the angle between A vector and B vector is how much 30 degree you should know how to find out the theta don't directly substitute 60 in the formula we have to substitute the angle between A vector and B vector again you have to use the same formula Z is equal to Z m induced M of Z is equal to Z m sin omega t is the formula instead of Xi m we can write n b a omega sin omega t this is a fundamental formula therefore Xi is equal to now we will substitute the values same 600 Newton 600 turns into 0 0.4 is the magnetic field strength area of the coil is 70 into 10 to the power of minus 4 meter square omega is already calculated 52.33 into sin 30 degree this 30 must be substituted here are you clear so here we know the entire value in the second case this part was already calculated I will write it in bracket again you did not calculate the product of the entire thing is 88 volt 88 volt are you clear sin 30 value is 1 by 2 the final answer would be 44 volt the value of induced emf is 44 volt so this is the easy method of finding the value in the third case okay very interesting problem may be asked in three mark prepare well okay thank you